Hey everyone, we're getting ready for Christmas here. Everything's looking bright and pretty, but I still got some stuff going on in the garden. So I want to bring you outside and show you all of that stuff. But I thought I'd share a couple pictures with you of what's going on in here. I hope you guys are all having a great holiday season. Let's go outside and check everything out. So here we have our row of carrots. It started over there. I harvested that area of them and uh, canned up the carrots. I didn't really thin these a whole lot. So if you can see, they're really, you know, packed in together. So some of the carrots will be big. Some of them will be small. they cute I'm gonna eat this one but so these I'm gonna give them some more time I'm gonna leave some of these in here so I can let them go to seed but here's one of my dahlias it's still holding on in December I'm just gonna leave it and marigolds I am just shocked at these things. They just keep growing and growing. So I'm gonna um, plant more of these next year, but I'll show you in the next section what I'm gonna do with them. So this area right here is the beginning of our new garden area. Basically what I'm going to have is probably about four wide rows here. This will be my tomato bed. Um, it will be interplanted with other things, but mainly my tomatoes, possibly some cucumbers. I want to make um, a lot of canned tomatoes this year. But basically what I did for the, these beds is I double dug the beds, um, tilled in probably about 15 to 20 buckets of compost and um, just spread it out. And then I, right now I'm currently spreading just a layer of compost on top of them. My plan is to put the tomatoes in here. I'm going to space them three feet apart because we get so much rain and it's so humid. I wanna make sure there's a lot of airflow to all of the plants this year. And um, these are gonna be tied with a string like people do in greenhouses. But what I'll do is this first part right here will all be marigolds. Then I'll have a row of carrots here and this area right here will be tomatoes. And then in between each of the tomatoes will be some onion plants. And then on this one, I'll have my leeks, tomatoes, probably some other flowers. And then these ones will probably be, probably just be tomatoes and then possibly cucumbers back there, but I'm not sure I haven't completely decided yet. you can see I still have to work on that and then the black part there is trying to kill the grass if it doesn't I'm just going to skim the grass off the top so let's show you the other part of the garden and this is the other new area for the garden and it's a mess so don't mind my mess it's a work in progress but in this bed here I have some of our pepper plants that I may cover to overwinter. Um, we got garlic all along the bottom here. We have some beets in here. Um, some alyssums along this part right here. These are the alyssums. Just starting out, hopefully they'll survive and the cold and I'll cover them but they'll survive and give us some nice flowers on the edge of this and under here is cabbage the reason I have this over it is not because of the cold temperature it's mainly because we have the worms that are eating up all of the cabbage like vegetables and I don't want them to kill off my little seedlings before I get to use them This here 
is my broccoli. And I had to cover it because the bugs were coming and eating up the plants. So the broccoli is just starting to form heads. I'm really excited. It's looking really good. But you can see all the damage from the worms. I covered them thinking that I could avoid the worm damage, but um, somehow those little white butterflies got under the cover. This spot here is for my kale. And it's looking really good. It's just full and pretty. So I picked some off of this and I dehydrated it and I keep it in a little container and I sneak it in all of our food. <laughs> the kids have no idea. And then we got this here is radishes. And then we got some mustard greens in here. Let's see if I can pull this up. Some mustard greens. I'll probably pick these and maybe throw them in some soup. And then these are the radishes that we're growing. And then a couple more broccoli plants and they're getting eaten up pretty good but they're still making heads so i'm happy for that and there's a worm don't you guys get cold yeah and then this bed here Right here, we have some bunching onions here. I planted some curled leaf parsley. I planted a lot of that because I just really love it. <laughs> I just love it. I can eat it with as a salad just itself. And then we got some beets here that look like they're doing pretty good. A couple more that aren't really growing. These were all planted at the same time. And then this here, all these big leaves, this is rutabaga. And this is kind of an experiment for me because these seedlings got real leggy when I was planting them. I'm gonna try to get in here and see if you can see. So I planted them anyway, just to see if it would create a rutabaga root and you can see it's creating a long root. So we'll see if it tastes the same and isn't too hard to eat. And if it is, then in the future, I will not worry about my rutabaga becoming leggy. And then in this bed, so three more rows of carrots. We got some lettuces. They're doing really good. Some red ones down here. Oh, <clears throat> back over to this bed over here, we got some spinach growing. Some's doing really great, some of them aren't. I'm assuming it's because of the inconsistency in the soil in the hugel bed. It's the only thing I can think of because they all get water and it's not just from these lines, I also overtop water. Um, and then this is kohlrabi. <clears throat> and then over here in this bed, we have my pea plants. And they're planted also with some spinach. And the spinach isn't really growing. Like I feel like nothing's growing as quick as it usually does. And it could just be because it's cold, but I do think it's because I didn't amend any of these beds. It's basically just 
compost. Oh look, I don't know if that was a chicken digging in here or an armadillo. I'm guessing a chicken. Hmm. But then I also have some more parsley there. And in this bed is the celery. So I got a bunch of celery and I don't think this is gonna create really great stalks or anything. I think they're gonna be really thin ones, but the leaves taste great on them. So I'm okay with that. And then we have some more parsley. And then this is also some more cabbage. This one is, oh, there's a cabbage. This little cover came off. And there's a couple weeds. I'm gonna have to come out here and add some weeds. What's up? What you doing? You wanna say hi? Say hi. Oh, you're scared of the camera? Adios. So that is it. That's what we got growing right now. Oh, there's the cat. What you doing, kitty kitty? <laughs>